In this lesson, we will learn how to create character styles in Word. Character styles are combinations of different fonts, font colors, character attributes that you can add to text within your document. I am going to go through this document and I want to highlight the instance of all different cities and counties that are noted in the document. For example, here I'm going to select San Diego County and I'm going to make it so that it is bolded in a different font color. I will choose some sort of a dark green here. I can also make additional changes, for example, from the home ribbon and the font group. I can go to the additional font options. And from the advanced section, I can create, for example, a scale instead of 100% of the size by making it 150% or 90%. You can see the scale of that text looks different. My focus with this character style is that these areas are highlighted on my page, noted differently on my page. So I'm going to make some of these different changes here. I'll keep it at scale of 100%. Maybe the spacing, I want to have it condensed if I want the text closer, expanded if I want it further. I'm going to go ahead and keep it condensed right now. I think that looks pretty good. And then in the font tab here, I'm going to apply one more attribute. I'm going to choose the all caps just to show you some, some different items that can be created with character styles. Now when I go ahead and click OK, I have that applied to this location and then I want to apply it again here to La Jolla and then as I scroll down further there might be other locations such as North Carolina or Los Angeles. I don't want to apply these formatting attributes over and over again. So here I have my formatted character selected and from the styles group I can go to the more styles option right here and then you'll see an option called create a style. Now this is one way to start creating a style because when I choose it it's going to recognize the selected text and do most of my work for me. When I click on the modify option here I have the option to name the style and decide what kind of style this is going to be. First, I'm going to name this style as locations. In this particular document, every time there's a location, I have a need for this style. However, I do not want this style to control the paragraph settings. I don't want to change the margins or the space before and after the paragraph. So I'm going to make sure that this style type stays as a character. If I wanted to provide additional formatting options to this style, I can continue to do so. But notice that since this is a character style, your paragraph formatting options are grayed out. If I return this back to paragraph, they become active. Let's go ahead and keep it as a character style. Let's add one more attribute of underline. Go ahead and click OK at the bottom of the screen. And from this point forward, I can now select any location that I want to apply that style to. And then I can go into my styles menu. And then here is locations with the underline applied to it. And now there it is, even the condensed attribute that I added, you can see applied here. If you want to remove any formatting, you can always select the text and return it to the normal style or from the font group, you can always clear the formatting as well. I'm going to click on clear all formatting just to demonstrate how to remove a character style. And that concludes our lesson on how to create character styles in Word.